Hello and welcome. I am Exalite and this is my channel and today we're going to do one of my favorite segments and it is haunted houses for sale. Or should we say ghosts for sale, house for free. Before we get started, if you would please give this video a thumbs up, I would greatly appreciate it. If you are not subscribed and you would like to be, please consider doing so. And if you do, please click that bell so that you can be notified when my content goes live. And let's get started into this real estate, shall we? Is this the most haunted house in America? Hmm. What may look like a rather ordinary residence from the outside is actually a hotel which is plagued with supernatural occurrences. This guest house is located in historic Humbird, Wisconsin, and was once the focus of a local ghost hunting investigation after multiple reports from owners and guests of paranormal activity. So what lurks behind that unassuming facade? The Humbird Hotel Bar and Grill dates back to 1869, and once inside, the atmospheric interiors take hold with chandeliers providing low lighting across numerous antique frame portraits and dark painted walls. The property even hosts a bar, six hotel rooms, and its own residential quarters spanning 1,800 square feet. And for just $279,000, which is not bad if you're buying a hotel that comes with a bar. The 5,500 square foot hotel could be all yours. And the ghosts, too, likely. Bonab of Bonab Realty spoke to a realtor about an experience that the current bar owners had. They were just sitting in the bar, and there was this hanging light, and it started to move when they were sitting below it. One person got up and stopped it from moving and said he could feel the force of something pulling on it. So he sat down and it just continued to spin. Spooky. But that's not all. The supernatural investigators of Minnesota have rather bravely visited the hotel on numerous occasions with tracking equipment and recorded some ghostly goings on. According to Realtor, a video from last year shows evidence of spirits roaming the halls, including a nurse carrying a tray which could be linked to smallpox patients who died in that building. In another room, multiple guests have reported that a male spirit that watches over people while child entities have been seen in other rooms. The so-called pink room apparently hosts more than just rose-colored decor, but also an unidentified creature that crawls down the walls. I'm not sure if I'm going to reserve that room or not. Probably not. The main floor is currently being used as a bar and a restaurant, while the hotel rooms and living quarters reside on top of the floors. There is no mention of the bar and restaurant being haunted, but the sale will come complete with a liquor license and bar items, furnishings, and fixtures. And you might need a stiff drink after staying there. If that doesn't put you off, the property does come in need of repairs as the current owners were in the process of renovations but were unfortunately unable to complete the project. For $279,900, I'm a little bit curious to see who snaps this one up and whether they can handle they're uninvited guests. How about the Enslin House in New York? For $413,111, you can buy some ghosts and get this house. How about this poltergeist populated property in the heart of Westchester County, New York? It was built in 1925, the so called elegant, warm, and inviting abode as the listing says, is perhaps anything but once that when you step inside the porch of the Enslin house. According to Realtor, the current owner, an intuitive alchemist named Michelle Bell, claims that her four-bedroom residence plays host to no less than nine ghosts and a gangster called John T. Legs Diamond, making a feature 
of its paranormal entities, there's a well-placed boo sign that sits at the foot of the decorative wallpapered staircase. Welcome. The New York home has been in Michelle's family for six generations and was once the home of a supper club that the gangster ghost, Legs, happened to be a member of with ornate tin ceilings, Florentine floors, and hardwood floors, the house maintains many of its original features. The four-bedroom home also has four original custom-designed iron fireplaces, two galley kitchens, and a brand new roof as per the listing. According to Realtor, much of the paranormal goings-on occur in the basement, so you might want to keep that locked should you decide to take on this supernatural house. The well-maintained family home is found in a commercial zoned area, meaning potential new owners could transform this historic house into a restaurant, a coffee house, or perhaps a ghost-themed cafe. The possibilities and the afterlife are endless. How about the Priestly House? For a mere $938,000, this four-bedroom property in Canton, Mississippi looks just like any other luxury home with its sweeping staircases and grand facade. But if you delve a little deeper, you'll discover a seriously spooky history. Built by Dr. James Priestley in 1852, the property has experienced some strange goings-on. Since the doctor and his wife died in the early 1900s during an epidemic of yellow fever, it has become a decidedly haunted dwelling. The most recent owners have reported paranormal activity occurring in the spooky doctor's house, and they insist that they saw the ghost of Susan Priestley in the bedroom where she died. Others in the neighborhood said that they have seen figures standing at the windows. Owners have also witnessed a piano playing on its own and candles falling out of their holders. It is said that Susan Priestley got so attached to the home after her husband died that she just didn't want to leave. The haunted house is listed with Keller Williams Realty and comes with plenty of plus points for those brave enough to see past the home's history. Spanning 5,252 feet, the spine-chilling residence comes complete with four bathrooms, an attractive library, a formal dining room, a music room, a parlor, an office, a sleeping porch, and a swimming pool, all said to be in peak condition. Or maybe you would like to look at the Kate Shepherd House in Alabama, which comes to you at $995,000. Listed on the National Register of Historic Places, the Kate Shepherd House in Mobile, Alabama, dates back to 1897. The remarkable Queen Anne home features exquisite yellow and green paintwork, stained glass, ornate pediments, and turrets across its facade. But it's the home's eerie history that's intriguing prospective buyers. Now on the market with Keller Williams, this isn't quite the idyllic dollhouse that it appears to be. Once a schoolhouse back in the 20th century, it has been run as a successful B&B &B for more than 18 years, with visitors traveling from afar and wide to spend a weekend in the historic home. Encompassing 4,200 square feet, along with six bedrooms and five bathrooms, there's plenty of space to accommodate guests, though not all of them are invited. Seemingly, little has changed over the years, in this regal living room with its sash windows and carved wooden hearth surrounding it. The home's current resident, Wendy James, who has owned the property for 18 years, told a local TV station that she and her husband share the house with a spectral visitor. Over the years, several guests have asked about the little girl running around the hallways, though no such child lives in the house. Naturally, theories abound as to who this little girl might be. Kate Shepard, the home's namesake, ran a school from this house for between 30 and 40 years until she passed in 1952, so perhaps the ghost could be a former student. Guests staying in Kate's sister Isabel's room 
have reported seeing apparitions as well. Isabel passed away in the house, but maybe she wasn't quite ready to leave. Whatever the case, these ghostly visitors are said to be benevolent, so there's not much concern for your safety. This beautifully preserved home is just as impeccable outside with its expanse of porches and a third of an acre of landscaped grounds. However, a further secret was recently uncovered in the home's eaves. The discovery of the McCrae papers in the attic, a collection of rare Civil War documents, drew international attention and even led to a feature on HGTV's If Walls Could Talk. And how's that for a story that comes with a home? And last for today, the Carlisle Martin home in Alabama is going for $1.1 million. Built in 1858 for wealthy cotton trader Edward Kenworthy Carlisle, this four-bedroom mansion is described as one of the best-preserved examples of Italian villa-style architecture, according to its listing. And for $1.1 million, this attractive home could be yours. But be warned that it does come with a spooky story or two. Added as a National Historic Landmark in 2004, this imposing abode features original cross halls and three separate stairways, three wide halls, and two tower rooms on the third and fourth floors. The property can also be found in Catherine Tucker Wyndham's 1969 children's book of ghost stories, 13 Alabama Ghosts and Jeffrey. The eight-bedroom, four-bathroom mansion spans 7,959 square feet of living space, adorned in elaborate decor throughout. Rich textures and colors proliferate each room lit via chandeliers, fireplaces, and original arched windows. One story reports how the owner's daughter, Anne Carlyle, grew up in the hall, and her favorite place was the four-story square tower. In love with the neighboring soldier, and upon hearing that he had died at a battle in the Civil War, she reportedly threw herself from the stairwell to the hall three floors below. And tragically, by the time her father arrived at her side, she was dead. Some say her cries can still be heard in the tower. But it's not all spooky tales. The unique historic residence is also a functioning Arabian horse farm, according to its listing, with 19 acres of land to roam. For prospective owners who are brave enough to live with a mourning, howling, crying ghost in the tower, Kentworthy Hall, or also known as Carlisle Martin House, is still for sale with Keller Williams Realty. Thank you for coming to my channel. I truly enjoy this segment. 